Hey everybody, welcome back to Chimera Squad. Uh, we're heading out to Angler's Point to rescue a compromised technician. Uh, we have somebody idle, but we don't have a spot for them, so that's okay. We all have special weapons now. If you didn't notice, we picked these all up very recently. Three projected encounters, Blue Blood, Torque, Shelter, and Axiom. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll. I guess, okay, so here's, a, here's an argument that could be made. Maybe I should put in Cherub instead of blue blood so that we can get his uh his stuff removed maybe that's what maybe that's what we'll actually do here maybe that's what we'll do just to try to be as efficient as possible i'm a little bit concerned that um a chance by 15 is not bad either i'm a little bit concerned that we're going to be losing a lot of firepower <laughs> which we are but he's got other benefits and uh, let's see. So let's go in here and change some of this stuff up. He's using a pistol as well. Where is his? Uh, where's his special weapon? Hold on. Can I go into the armory and see this? Okay, I gotta remove it from there. So that is not actually removing the weapon. I gotcha. I got nervous there because so many people have told me about these glitches where people are losing their guns. So, yeah. I mean, I guess we just give them both of these. Mock weave's fine. Med kits. And I might change up these AP rounds. Hmm. You know what? It's fine. We can give it to him. We get a lot of, of uh, sleeps with the uh, trank rounds here. So I think we can still make this work. Med kit, med kits, med kits, ceasefire, and med kits. All right, let's go. This is going to be a weird squad. A biomechanics technician realized her side project was backed by the progeny. And when she called hey, reclamation, the progeny came to collect. It's almost like they read her... Okay, wait. They did most likely read her mind. <laughs> Thank you, Cherub. For mansplaining us. All right. Ready for anything? All you need to do this entrance get 50 dodge. Enemies deal one less damage during this breach. Everybody gets 50 dodge for one round. And enemies... Okay, well, I mean, it's pretty clear. We should go here. Um, Axiom up first. Torque second. Cherub and Shelter. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> Ooh, a bunch of acolytes, it looks like. One. A oh, resonant. That's new. A little sectoid action. Cool. Thralls. Fine. Resonance. Acolytes. Thralls. Acolyte. So this dude here is the only aggressive one. We have a pretty good shot back there. Oh! Very rare miss on an 84. Let's put this on uh, Resonant. Uh, Phalanx. You can only use this once per mission. I don't think this is the best time. Since there's only one enemy. Let's do a little damage here. Or kill him. Also, that's fine. And then we could try Dazzle. Disorients all enemies near the breach point. Target enemies disoriented for an extra turn. One use permission. I'm going to save that too. Give anybody that he could kill. Now let's just put damage on. Okay. There's the dodge. 90 dodge. Side domain. What the? Plus one side damage. Oh boy. All right. It's 
time for Axiom to get mad. Who wants some? Let's go three. On the edge. Okay. So Acolyte and Thrall. Let's try and deal with Thrall first. Kraken Skulls. Jeez, Axiom. Okay, get those whiffs out of the way, buddy. Just get them out of the way. I'm going to psych up more now. Five to seven. If I don't take this shot... Listen to that noise. That's crazy. I think our best chance is actually this. Um, to maybe get a disable of some kind. Because this might not even kill him. If we roll the five. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god. Okay. Her eyes are liquid darkness. Drug it off, thanks. We're at five rage. It is the only way. Do not mess with him. I'm warning you, Acolyte. I'm warning you. You've been warned. Oh, struck it off again. Okay. Well. How do we do this? We're all here. If we go uh, poison spit, we can hit three. Okay. I think we're gonna come in here for a subdue. That way we could get the um we could get the three, but if not, he dies anyway. Fine. Unconscious. And then we get that little heal. That's cool. Two HP. Not bad. Not bad at all. Banfires once permission. Pretty likely that he's gonna go Dropping for Axiom blocking. here. And then he does have armor piercing. I think if I can... Yeah, I think we just go here. Knock him out. Get the sleep. I made the arrest. Oh, he didn't go for Axiom. That's okay. That's okay. Do I need this yet? Hmm. I don't I really don't want to have to throw a bubble grenade or use team up this early. What helps me the most? One thing I could do is uh move into like poison range and then swap this resonant into the poison it does leave us exposed but like everyone's pretty exposed anyway let's see what he does Okay. Totally fine. I don't like that it procs both of those. Okay. He's going to lose it soon, so... Really good chance of doing some type of disable here if we actually land the hit. There we go. He's going to go berserk. Nope. Wow. Impressive. Impressive. Seventy-five to pull him in. You come here. Gets poisoned. Oh, we pulled him to the wrong tile. <laughs> Get to safety. 
Hurry. Right. All right, all right, all right. We go uh, chain shot or just bind. Either way. Actually, if we bind, we can let him go and just disable. Go Next turn. And then Cherub. We go for the bash here. We only have one charge. All right. So he's dead. Thought I had it. Can go for a subdue. That was my fault. Panic resisted. Why? What, what's happening with the panic? Why are we? What is that? If these guys die, they have a chance to panic or something. Stop wiggling. You're caught. Cool. Oh, we didn't even get the chance to let him go. We end in the bind, then it just happens. Okay, what's next? Interesting. This is the only place in the city authorized to expand on codex research. Makes sense. We know the progeny has a codex, and it's sort of so busted. I'm, if I had to guess, codex third room? Based on everything we're hearing. Okay, crits. Stun. Crits here. Stun. Pork. Uh... Plus three mobility, one less damage. Switch this back. Something like that works. Keep behind me. Let's do this. Don't get the option to use the smoke, so we're just gonna throw everything into the last encounter, hopefully. Resonant. Resonant. Acolytes. Thralls. Thralls. Acolyte. This is guaranteed to crit. There you go, big boy. Now, see, now you're feeling it. It's good. Toxic greeting. Couple of aggressive acolytes here. Stun will take. Now. It doesn't... So this one is looks like this is the one targeting him. Over here. So Phalanx isn't going to absorb, like, all of these. Okay. And then I guess we're going to save this for the next room as well. Aim is rough. But we do have the stock... Wow, didn't even need it. <laughs> that was sick. Shrug it off, dodge. A little bit of hit, that's fine. Two rounds to get the evidence. Okay. Acolyte first. Man, we are like, we've been on this five rage for a while. 89, come on big boy. Nice stun. Losing his mind. Go on three. Go on three. Oh, Axiom's the best. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, Axiom. Good boy. Three turn cooldown. Come in here and just take double shots in this thrall. Uh, if we want, I guess. Or I could just bind him. And it does, it just kind of achieves the same effect without having to put that on cooldown. Hmm. Good poison back here on this resonant.
Covering ground. Let's go in next to him. Okay, so the bind. Okay, so maybe the maybe you can't even bind over stuff, but I think you need to be adjacent. Not um not like this, basically is what I'm saying. I can't even target him with this, so maybe we just go chain shot now. I should have actually healed here. Nice. And a graze too. Armored up. We'll throw this on torque. And then finish him off. Book him. Turtling. Shelter. Tear the deep. Ouch. Okay, let's take the heal. Now. This resonant. Like if I if I swap him here, what does that do for me? Nothing. But if I swap here, I might uh, I don't think I'll get in for a subdue. But we're carrying are we carrying the stock on him? Or is that on Cherub? I think that might be on Cherub. No, he's got the arm. Well, yeah, he's got both, I think. The stock and the armor piercing. Uh, we could use Hail of Bullets, and that is exactly what we will do. Um, I don't even need to use it from here, do I? I don't need to swap then. Hail of Bullets guaranteed to hit. Then, uh, just go wild. How many turns do we have? Three? Let's just go for uh, all subdues here. You're supposed to stay down. We'll use the medkit heal. And then we should... Well, these go away going into the next room, right? So it doesn't really matter. I made the arrest. And that should grab the evidence that everyone's clear. Now to find the VIP. And probably a codex. in the next room. <laughs> it's cube farm. Lots of open space and thin walls. Hard for him to take cover if we knock it down. I like your thinking there, Axie baby. Security door. Shelter could lead. Fewer aggressive enemies. Everybody gets more mobility here. I mean, I'm okay with if he has to lead there, I guess. We have to put... Wait, what? Hold on. Whoops. What's going on? Why can't I... Oh, there. Okay, that was weird. A uh, little bit different. But that's okay. Less aggressive enemies is good. And then we get the smoke drop. Does that even really matter if nobody's even shooting at us here? It doesn't. Because we lose this as soon as we finish the breach. Okay, so I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna put Axiom there. Then Torque, then Cherub. Because if we don't have anybody shooting at us, then we don't need the uh the smoke bomb. We're heading in. And we looks like we got high ground on him too. Let's do a dazzle. Disorients all enemies near the breach point. Targeted enemies disoriented for an extra turn. Who's the scariest of them all? None, really. Maybe this guy? 
look at that. Wow. That's cool. That's really... Okay, that's quite powerful. <laughs> that's quite powerful. This might be our best chance at killing this guy from long range. Nice. Let's uh, put this poison on him. Let's take this, too, just to secure it. Ah, oh, well, he crit. Fine. The, the thought process there is, he's, yeah, he's disoriented for more turns. There's our VIP. But Keep her safe from the progeny. him being dead is just as good. You know? Now, can I swap with that VIP? You're damn right I can. Now, that's cool. So, we're going to have to evac, right? Bubble grenade. Hey, I think. Oh, man. Hmm. Doesn't look like these guys are targeting the technician. I'm just considering, like, do I need to bring anybody up for this? I could just bubble grenade the technician. Usually they show that they're targeting them. I want to say that we're okay. This might not be the right call. We're about to find out if they'll ever target without showing us. At least right now they're not. Psionic suplex. I wonder if he's, like, if it comes around to his turn, is he fully disabled by that? We're gonna go Adrenal Surge for Over sure. Get psyched up. Wired up. You can even hear the phone ring? That's cool. Sleep. Go over here. Eighty-nine. Hello, neighbor. Okay, I could have raged up one more time, but then you run the risk, right? We could subdue here. Call it a day. And then Cherub can. I'll put I'll ch I'll put the charge on the technician, even though nobody's targeting him yet. Oh, I can't see him or what? Yeah, I guess not. Or I can take this kill. Or I could do both. I can't. I can only shield someone. I can't shield this one. Now that's protection. Book him. Down. That re that removes the levitation there too. We'll see what happens at the end of the round if they start targeting. No, they're not. Maybe they don't even do anything until we activate them. So, easy enough to just leave there. 76 here. Relocating doesn't add a lot of value. Nice big five damage, though. Lacking the... Ooh, that's a snipe. Okay. Okay. 
I'm going to psych up and go up top. And then we're going to have to evac. So do we evac here? Nice. Where else could we be evacing? It could be there. Behind us is unlikely. It could be here, I guess. Seventy nine. I can't reach it. Okay. Okay. I'll try and like just group people together ish. We'll activate the technician. Good, good. Yeah, we are evacuing. Uh oh, nope. Oh. Oh, it is that door. That's an unfortunate door to be at, let me say. Because we are nowhere close. Okay, we have a little bit until reinforcements arrive. That's one nice thing. We can set up on this. And if I really wanted to, I think we come down here, swap our technician. Swapping position. Technician's out. Uh... I would love to have an overwatch on this door. That's what I would really like. I'm going to come down here. We'll overwatch this. And then we'll bring Torque down. And she can pull the... Brawl. Oh, we could actually drop, like, acid or poison on one of these openings, too. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that here. So the Thrall takes the poisoning. Or just that's fine, too. But then people coming in this way. This guy just avoided it somehow. The stream of sound has ebbed away. Ah, it was a cool idea. It was a cool idea. We could go just mad dash. We do have fanfire, we should probably use. Chances are pretty good. I'll move as far as we can. And then we'll fan fire up top. 75. Stock. Yeah, doesn't even matter. Okay. I could reload and take this shot, but... Doesn't really give us any value over just taking this, I think. Could throw down the bubble grenade. Grenade out. That's so cool.
I kind of want to just move here. And from up here, we'd be able to leave on the next turn. If I team up... Actually, we save the team up for when the reinforcements arrive. I'm just going to actually get him out. Yeah, see, perfect. Because now on Axiom's turn, we can bring Cork in and we'll be fine. Assuming... Well, hold on. I actually don't know if Shelter can make it all this way. He can't. He cannot. So we could... Swap Axiom and then maybe get out. Hmm. Interesting. These guys are far enough away. You'd have to deal with two enemies. If I go here and I do like a preparation, pretty likely okay. Oh, that even brings them up ahead of... Uh, of Torque. Okay. I'm going to give Shelter the heal. Instructions aren't so good. And then we can just take a shot. The snipes again. The shotgun snipe strikes once more. He was like the worst of the targets to hit because he wasn't in the in the middle batch, but oh. I could have been real bad if that shotgun blast hit. Ooh, he could take him down. Totally possible. And he's totally exposed now. Yikes. Okay, well. I'm nearly out. Pretty lucky, but we have that 90 dodge as well. So you kind of think like would have been fine either way, but he did get hit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That one was, that was that was pretty lucky there, but I guess I don't know. Maybe the dodge is would have procked. This isn't important at all, I know. But it's a matter of principle. Can't hit both. Grenade out. Okay, bye. Pretty successful. I thought we were going to run into a codex the way that was going. Ten enemies. Not bad. I honestly thought that we were going to run into a codex based on um, what Director Kelly was saying and then talking about it in some of those reach points. But no. But you know damn right there will be one. Sacred Coil Fire Gear so we can get the, uh, the um, dragon rounds. 80 credits. Very good. Counselor Parada, frankly, I'm amazed at the progress we've made. Two years ago, Renova Heights was still ruins from the invasion. Now it's our skyline. See the Odash. You were initially against extraterrestrial re re repatriation. Could City 31 have flourished without a diverse workforce? Counselor Parada, I don't believe so. But more than that, what we're truly building here is a community. And it's one I'm proud to represent. Nicely done. The Progeny's pet codex is effectively offline. Okay. Pet Codex. Huh. I'm interested to see how they get that guy back online, because it will happen. 
Incendiary Grenade, Dragon Rounds. So these deal plus one extra damage, which is nice all in its own, and have a chance to set enemies aflame. Fire limits a vulnerable unit's abilities and damages them over multiple turns. I like that a lot. Incendiary Grenades are awesome too. Maybe that's even... Maybe that's the better buy, because grenades are free. They don't cost any actions. It's probably like a 3x3, three three, so you might hit 2. Um, I did say we were going to buy an android. That's the responsible thing to do. It is. It is the responsible thing to do, to have a backup android. Uh, oh, sick. Another new agent. What are we going to research next? Ceasefire, smoke, flash. Android units can equip Android mods in the armory. I hate to spend a lot of money and time on Androids when I, like, you ultimately don't want to have to use them. I'm going to go enhance the SMGs now. And who do we got? Okay, so Claymore, Godmother, or Verge. Damn, we have some good options here. So Claymore, we passed up before. Godmother's cool, but we already have that role sort of filled. But Verge, ooh, Verge could be sick. Now, I'm wondering against these enemy types... I'm wondering if he's going to be that good. Stupor is really nice because you can uh, stun consistently. Battle Madness turns somebody into rage and they attack somebody. And then everybody that you do these things to, as long as they're alive, you get plus 10 aim for each enemy that's in this neural network. Like, I love Verge. Verge is cool. I'm picking Verge. Verge, welcome to our temporary home. What are your thoughts on exposed steel girders? <laughs> Remarkably positive. They reduce risk of psionic attacks. Smart. Really? Ha. Huh. No. <laughs> the steel does nothing. We are completely exposed to psionic incursion. Thanks for the next few weeks of fear-powered insomnia. I have a friend that talks exactly like that with the exact same type of humor. Good times. Uh, what kind of gun does he carry? Is it a... It's an assault rifle. Okay. Cool. Very cool. So maybe do I want to... Ch do I want to change this? Because ultimately, we do want, uh, we do want him shooting. But if I cancel this, do we lose that Illyrium? If you change projects, you'll you will recover fifty five Illyrium, which is all of it. I'm actually gonna switch that. Because for the other guys, we typically have them using all their abilities. Uh, he's in for one more day. We've seen the progeny using tech of an unfamiliar design. It's a lot of orange None and of yellow. This came from Advent. Track down the source of this tech. We need to know how they're using it. Okay. So, we got situations over here. There's nothing I can do about this. This is going to slowly stack with situations. The credits are nice because we could buy some fun toys. Uh, we don't have a ton of intel at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go to locate the missing informant. Okay. Blue Blood finished training. The mercenaries you've encountered are from the old Shrike network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after She looks the war. so disgruntled, eh? After the formation of 3-1 PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Who's in charge? It's not that simple. Shrike operates in a loose cell structure. Each cell determines which jobs they're willing to take. Some help guard the city's food supply. And others are muscle for seriously shady people. So what if we run into more in the field? They should have the sense to avoid a fight with reclamation. Oh, that means they're they coming right at us. <laughs> standard rules of engagement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're using an unfamiliar design. None of this came from Advent. Track down the source of this tech. We need to know how they're using it. Okay. Two agents idle. That's fine. Oh, I feel so tired, and it's not even noon. What did you have for breakfast? I'll tell you what she didn't have. Big crunch. The cereal?
material that writhes? That's the one! How does that even work? We dip gene-tailored larval nuggets into our special batter. Simply add warm milk and prepare for a big crunch. What kind of milk? Milk from any warm-blooded mammal will end the nuggets' hibernation. <laughs> really? Then you're ready for Hilarious. some big crunch. That sounds fun, but I'm a human. Can I have some too? Of course! Nearly everyone can eat big crunch. What about me? I said nearly. Under no circumstances should sectoids consume big crunch. Oh, dang. Well, I know what I'm having. A wriggling bowl of... Oh, go on. You can say it. Big <laughs> crunch. The cereal that rides. Food life. That's disgusting. The world. Okay, we're in a bit of a sticky scenario here. But... So this is going to go up by three. There's not much I can do. End of the line. This is going to go... Oh, but look at this. We can get a motile inducer and reduce the problems here. Okay, then this is going to go to max. We're not going to take City Anarchy because it's going to be at max. And then we could take this mission to reduce it and go towards this. And then we'll also have a uh, reduce unrest um, thing here. Okay, yeah, so I think we do end of the line. Then we do the prevention field test. But we probably... Yeah, no, we just let that go. And we try to reduce the unrest some other place with vigilance. Because we'll be able to remove this uh, from here. Assuming it's in the same spot, but it, I don't know, maybe it won't be. But we definitely want a motile inducer. That's a ton of intel. Uh, this is going to solve this problem. This goes red, but that'll be okay. Uh, look, Moon. He's in here, ready to rock and roll. Do you have any gear you could hold? Nano med kit? Sure. All right. Okay, so Torque, Shelter, Axiom, Cherub. Uh, one encounter, window door, repel point, and walls. So boom, boom. That's good. Am I missing anything? I put Virgin for training. I think we just keep doing that with our first, first time we get them. Throw them in for two HP, boosted. Why the heck not? And then over here... Uh, yeah, it was Cherub with the stock. We took it off of Axiom. So, Cherub with three. I wonder if I should... I'm actually going to switch this. Just because I feel like we won't use his as often. I'll give him the advance just so that if we can't get close, we still have something. And then we'll go scope and stock here. Uh, I might take the AP rounds from him. And we'll go AP rounds here. And then you take the bubble grenade. All right. So Torque, Shelter, Axiom, Cherub, and... Well, definitely not Moon, because only one encounter. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.